Today I'm going to show you exactly how one AI agent runs maintenance scheduling for an entire HVAC business. This AI handles 300 customers whose maintenance is coming due in 30 days. And it sounds so human that it's able to handle conversations like when was my last maintenance? Is this covered under my plan? And the upstairs unit is making weird noises. The craziest part is that this runs all automatically, pulling data from service titan. So that means that there is no manual call list. And the scheduling team went from four people to one person being available for any human transfer, which meant that the business was able to save over six figures a year. I'm first off going to show you a live demo of this AI calling me directly. And then I'm going to show you how it's actually working under the hood with Service Titan. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Mo, and over the past year, I've helped home service businesses implement AI voice agents into their business. And if you feel like you're missing behind in this crazy AI wave, then I do invite you to check out the first link in the description where I offer free consultation slots for the first five companies. So if you're interested, pick a slot before they're gone. And now let's dive into the live demo. Hello, this is Mary calling from is this Mo? Yeah, that's right. That's me. Great. Thank you, Mo. I'm calling about your membership for the property at your two system membership is set to expire on us. Would you like to renew for another year? Yeah, that would be great. Wonderful. Just to confirm, you have the two system membership, correct? Yep. Perfect. That's 340 for the year, which includes your two maintenance visits. Let's get your first maintenance visit scheduled. For your area, we offer visits Monday to Friday. What day works best for you? Um, how about perhaps next Monday? Because then Friday I'm not going to be available. Perfect. One moment while I check our availability. For next Monday, I have four arrival windows available. Early morning, 8 to 10. Late morning, 10 to 12. Midday, 12 to 2. And afternoon, 2 to 5. Which works best for you? Well, um, I think the early morning one would be perfect. Great. One moment while I book that for you. You're all set for Monday, December 22nd in the early morning arrival window between 8 and 10. Our team will call to confirm and provide a precise arrival time. Do you have any questions for me? No. That's awesome. Then I guess see you next Monday. Awesome. So we finished our call successful. We decided to renew the membership with uh, our, yeah, to system membership. And here we can see the call being recorded into the calendar or the service site in calendar, which is uh, a CRM used uh, for home service businesses. Have all the notes about um, my system uh, being or ready to be uh, renewed. And the team can pick it up from here um, and perhaps double call or at least call the uh, prospect to confirm with them the exact timing um, and also, the prospect can call back uh, in case they want to renew. Awesome. So now we are ready to look at the behind the scenes. We're going to get a bit more technical, but hopefully I'm going to break it down in a simple and digestible way. Now, if you really liked what you saw so far and you want to explore it for your specific business, then I do remind you that we offer free consultation slots, which you can find in the first link in the description. With that said, let's jump into the technicals. Awesome. So if we were to layer it down, we have three levels of let's say the system that we have built. Level number one is the voice or the AI orchestration layer section. Now we use a, or at least for this uh, specific build and project, we use Vapi, but there is a couple of tools um, that can be used um, if Vapi is not of a choice, like for example, retail or level apps. In this case, we use Vapi. And this is where we are commanding the AI to you know, speak in a certain manner, we're going to prompt it, we're going to give it instructions, and we're basically controlling it and commanding it. And I mean, in this case, for example, we're using uh, GPT 4.1, but um, you know, you can really select the LLM of your choice in this um, case or in this specific platform. Now, that's where we do all the um, voice specific uh, parts. Now, um, what we want to do is that sometimes we need to take actions. So for example, um, when you listen to that demo that we did before, we were checking how, um, let's say, when can I book a slot? So to do this action, to check, let's say the calendar, we need to go to Service Titan um, and actually you know, see what availabilities do we have for next Monday. And to do that, what we're doing is that we're using a tool called NA10 that allows us to basically 
uh, send a HTTP request. So we were basically uh, communicating with a webhook and we were telling it, hey, uh, anything, can you please go into Service Titan and tell us what availabilities do we have for Monday? Um, for Monday? And then Service Titan is going to look and it's going to elaborate our request and it's going back into uh, NA10. And NA10 is basically going to respond back into, um, yeah, into our AI agent, which basically we, like this part here is where we listen to the call. Um, or it's, it's the agent that we're talking to uh, when we are calling it. And now once we have the availabilities, I know, okay, yeah, I want to talk, I, I want to actually meet uh, Monday morning. And it basically does the same thing. So it goes back into any 10 and then it goes and actually takes, you know, an action where it books a appointment in service Titan. And then it goes back into VAPI uh, to tell us, hey, awesome, this is confirmed. And then you can basically conclude um, the communication with the user. And that's really how everything uh, kind of glues together. Of course, this is a very simplistic, made it a bit easier. Um, but in essence, you have VAPI, which controls the AI and the voice. And then we have NA10, which allows us to glue tools together. Um, and Service Titan, which allows us to basically track everything when it comes to our business uh, as the single source of truth. And now we get and look at NA10 and how we are pulling everything off. To remind you, NA10 is where we are connecting tools together. So we connect, on the one hand, our... VAPI, where we command the AI voice and the agent, uh, which we can speak to. And then in Service Titan, which is our CRM, uh, that's on the other end of the spectrum. It's where we are, you know, recording everything and making sure that if we have booked an actual call, it's actually recorded in Service Titan so the team can actually look at it. So this is, NA10 is where we bring these two worlds together um, using a lot of logic and, uh, and code. And what we're doing basically here, uh, at least Workflow one is we're saying every morning at 9.30 a.m., Monday through Friday, I want you to go, uh, I mean, fetch, you know, the um, days in which we were not available. Um, so this allows us to see, okay, which days are we actually off? So we don't want to call people on these days. So for example, Christmas Day or New Year's um, Day, we do not want to call people. So we just make sure that today is actually a day where we want to call. And then once we have that, uh, what we're doing is that we go into Service Titan and we are going to check, hey, in 30 days, who are the people that are going to expire? Because we actually want to remind them that your membership is about to expire. So, hey, uh, do, we want, do you want to actually renew? Um, and that's where we, what we do in Service Titan. We get the membership. I mean, we get all the details about uh, the membership. And then what we do is that uh, we call them. Now, once we call them, uh, what happens is that, uh, let's say we are in a call. I mean, you can either decide to accept or decline a specific, uh, let's say, the membership, right? Uh, so if you do decide to renew the membership, um, what you do is that, or at least what we offer you is that we're going to come to your house and uh, yeah, do just a, uh, let's say, a maintenance. And to do that, uh, we basically need to check the calendar in Service Titan. Um, we're going to look at the calendar. Hey, are there actually availabilities? And if so, we're going to offer four slots. Um, the user selects one, and once they select it, we basically uh, book and make an event into Service Titan. Now, once everything, let's say, uh, is done, we have the end of call report, uh, let's say, workflow. And here, we basically are taking actions based on the outcome of the call. So that means, for example, if someone has, uh, I mean, in our case, we have renewed the membership, for example, right? So what we do is that, I mean, here we're, we're doing all the categorization, meaning that uh, we get, let's say, the data from the webhook um, about the call. And we're actually, I mean, making sure that there is no errors because sometimes, you know, mm, there might be like some errors and we need to properly record them. But if there is not really, like if the call actually went and we have a transcript, what we're doing is that we're actually analyzing it with an LLM. Uh, which is going to categorize what type of call um, was it. So did the person actually decide to renew their membership? Yes or no? Uh, if yes, then we mark them as renewed. If no, then we mark them as basically membership canceled. And there is like a different set of um, 
let's say conditions, uh, but we're making sure that we're categorizing everyone properly based on the transcript of the call. So that means that we're actually transcribing the call and we're getting that data and we put it into uh, an LLM that is analyzing the outcome of the call. And then from that, we're able to properly, uh, let's say, take action uh, upon it. And what, let's say, I like to do with this uh, customer, I mean, we are recording everything into Service Titan, but we also like to send out, uh, you know, notifications which allow us to uh, basically have everything in one email uh, and we can basically check um, the call log and uh, yeah, check everything directly into uh, their platforms. That was one of the use cases for home service businesses or businesses in general. What I also like to recommend for home service businesses is that you can have an after hours agent that is able to pick up every call after 7 p.m. or whenever your receptionist actually clocks off and you can have the AI answer all the calls and understand whether it's an emergency or it's just a regular, let's say, call. And if it's an emergency, you want to directly transfer it to your technician or an actual human to handle the emergency. Whereas if it's, um, let's say, someone looking for information or to book an actual, uh, let's say, consultation, then you really want to either soft book them or actually book them in your uh, CRM, whether that's the service site in House Pro, Job or, or whatever you're using. Um, that is because you want to have them commit into something else. They're going to call the next um, business that is on their Google Maps because they're literally just calling back to back everyone uh, until someone picks up. And if you don't pick up, it literally goes to your competitor. So you want to somewhat build a little bit of a sense of a commitment. So you know uh, that they're basically um, going to, you know, wait for you to call them maybe in the next morning whether your receptionist comes back. Uh, but you want to give them a sense of commitment that uh, their issue is going to be resolved soon. Now, again, if you're interested to see um, if this could be a fit for your business or if you want to discuss uh, this more one-to-one -one with me, then I do remind you that I offer free consultation slots, uh, which you can find in the first link in the description. And if you want to learn how to build your very first AI voice agent, then I do invite you to watch this next video right here. See you there.